Hi crafters, this is Jerry with Crafty Stash. Well, I have a lot of Christmas cards to show you. Now these are all cards that I made last year uh, and I hadn't shown you because I don't think I did anything for Christmas last year on my um, on my channel. So this is just an overview of some ideas that you can create yourself and some tips and tricks that I picked up along the way. And um, so let's just get started. Now we had a, a couple of uh, friends uh, of mine and I had a um, a card sharing group for a few years running. Now I worked with uh, some gals that um, did a lot of um, scrapping and uh, scrapbooking, card making uh, with close to my heart products. And some of these have those in it. Uh, there are some things that have Anna Griffin. Um, I don't think any of it has the uh, Crafter's Companion as of yet. I hadn't gotten into that. So uh, this is just pretty much things that I, I did and some friends of mine had done as well. So this is something you could do with your, with your banners. Add a little bling to it, a little... Uh, a uh, frame with a stamp, put a bow on it, you got a card. It's not hard to do. We pop these up with some uh, pop dots as well. This is a cute one that a friend of ours did, uh, Born to Shop. Uh, again, I don't know the stamp sets and things on, on these uh, or the paper uh, that they used, but just a cute idea. And then enjoy the season. With that, a little glitter goes a long way. Here's a cute one that a friend did as well. Now she put together some leaves, put a bow on it that you can make very easily, and a little tag dangling from the bow, and it just opens like that. So these are just, you can do these very easily, just die cut them, uh, set the die, uh, up a little bit so it doesn't cut the whole whatever die that you have so that you have a hinge here for a card and you got yourself a base for a card. Cute idea. That's a small one too. Oh and, and don't forget your envelopes. Here she uh, did a little something something with the envelope and that's so cute. You can even do a, a seal or something like that. You can die cut inside your envelope as well. This is one that I did a few years ago and it's uh, brown paper packages tied up with string and I just did a banner, some ribbon, and a couple of squares with with uh, um, embroidery thread wrapped in it. Now what I do on the inside of some of my cards uh, because if, especially if I have a lot of people that I'm going to be sending cards to, I'll just print up a sheet uh, and cut it out. Um, this is just Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, filled with friendship, health, joy from the Pullman family. So that's us. And these are a few of my favorite things on the other side. But this, you know, I cut them out and just um, mount them on here. And that uh, gives me... Um, a quick way of doing it because to, to be honest with you <laughs> and of course I'll put it from an uh, or two here dear so-and-so to keep it some personalized but that's the hardest part for me is the envelopes is addressing envelopes and um, signing them all so but if you only have a few don't worry about that but I do um, uh, print up some things that maybe I want to put on the inside of the car. This is from Dickens. Reflect on your present blessings, of which every man has many, not on your past misfortunes, of which all men have some. And this was another one <clears throat> that I did. Uh, what is Christmas? It is uh, tenderness from the past, courage for the present, hope for the future. It is a fervent wish that every cup may overflow with blessings, rich and eternal, and that every path may lead to peace. And
and that is from Agnes Pabra, P-A-B-R-A. I just thought that was a cute quote. I also did one, I think, in here somewhere from the Grinch. So that gives you some ideas to put on the inside of your cards. There's another idea. You can just use um, some of the papers that I showed you yesterday. Had uh, little squares with the, all the numbers from 1 to 25. Um, pop up uh, uh, December 25th and don't open until. And just put some papers that you've embossed. Make it simple. It doesn't have to be intricate. This one was from a long, long time ago when I first started um, uh, doing cards and, and doing um, scrapbooking at all. Uh, just put a button on a stamped piece that you're putting on. Um, make it simple. It doesn't have to be extravagant. Oops, drop some. Now these, I did a whole bunch of these. I, these are from Anna Griffin years ago and they were just tags. And I took them and put them on embossed paper and put a little washi tape and a, and a, and a strip and made that a card. And it's just so simple to do. This was probably one of my favorite years that I did cards and uh, my friends and family got a kick out of that. This is another quote that I did. Uh, when the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before, what if Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store? What if Christmas perhaps means a little bit more? We all love Grinch. And then I put my uh, thing on there from the family. These are from like, uh, um, oh, what do they call those? The life things. I don't know. But everybody's got these or cut aparts or whatever. Put that on a um, piece of paper. And you have yourself a card, put a little bling, some uh, glitter tape or just glitter paper that you've cut up. You can make it more extravagant with more things, more layers, or just do it simply. If you have a couple of those, I just uh, put it together with washi tape. No? Okay. And um, my husband just reminded me that the bucks are playing today. <laughs> So I may have to do that. Um, repeat the sounding joy. Just a couple of card pieces there. And actually this is a, this is the card part of it. This is a postcard. Uh, again, another one with one of the things from Anna Griffin, the tags. Here's another one with the tag. Another one, some washi tape, glitter tape more washi and glitter. They're all different. This one I have to finish yet, put something there, but uh, jingle all the way. This was just cut apart from something and a couple of banner pieces there. And that makes a, and then I just stamped the envelope. And that's another idea with a cut apart. This one had a little envelope in it. You could put a gift card or something in there. This was just some paper and it was uh, layered up. This is a, a stamp with um, a lot of printing on it for the holidays. Very simple. Now this one is, instead of opening this way, it's opening from the top. It's the same size. This is another one from that same series I did long ago. Merry Christmas. Another um, tag. This one is a long ways, and this I hadn't done a lot of these, but these fit in business size envelopes so easily, and we all have a bunch of those. Uh, so do your cards that way. Let's see what size this is. Okay, it's three and a half by not long enough. <laughs> three and a half by eight. So cute. Just a different way of doing it. You can always embellish with with um, glitter and glam. And this is just some banners that I cut. 
this had a cut apart that um, had the writing on it and I put some on the inside as well. I love this. This was close to my heart paper. I love this. This is from several years ago. Twinkle with some some glitter and some glitter things there. Christmas cheer. You know, just don't forget the inside of your cards. You can always do something to go along with to bring it in. This is just a cut apart on the diagonal with some glitter. That was a cute one, and you could do this either which way. I think it was supposed to go this way. So a black strip, a glitter square, just put this through. A white, I think this was supposed to be like a pattern. Uh, this is an embossed tree, but it goes really well. And a couple of red buttons, and there you got it. You got a Santa Claus. Very cute, very simple. Another cut apart. Oh, that came from someplace. Who knows where? And that's a simple one to do. Just layer them up. This was a die cut. Those are die cuts. I think I think at the time those were hand cut. <laughs> Remember when we used to do that? This is just simple. A couple of little pieces and welcome Santa. And I popped that up with a couple of die cuts. Um, pop dots, put a card in there, or I, whatever you want. A friend of ours did this. Um, stamp Christmas, put Mary with some banner pieces and string, piece of ribbon, and a couple of flat back, and that makes a really cute card. Smaller card or a gift tag, however you want to do that. And this just came with some uh, tape and a die cut, or actually these were hand cut out uh, pieces of um, uh, poinsettia. And just pop them up and put them on a piece of paper, and there you got a card. This one had a, a uh, napkin fold. I'm not quite sure what you call these, but you just fold them and have the diagonal. I don't remember how to do that, but I'm sure that's something in somebody's repertoire, <laughs> or you could look it up. And on a um, embossed sheet, uh, layered up with uh, glitter, and there you have your your card there. Again, another with the tag. This was Merry and Bright. I think this was a close to my heart. Uh, and also uh, close to my heart and embossing. So it just has white embossing and a uh, glitter pen probably put on that on red. And had some others here as well. Oops, those were that. Let's see, I know I had a few more. <clears throat> this was cute, a friend of ours did, and it was just with some uh, rare um, braids. Is that what you call them? Brads. <laughs> and um, she just die cut some concentric uh, scalloped circles, printed that on, uh, stamped it on, colored it up, and put them together so that they fit just like that. Isn't that cute? And this was a Santa, just a little hat. All decorated up. Simple, simple, simple. That'd be a great kids card. I may have to do that for my grandkids. Very simple to do. And I had some twist cards too. And I was just playing with this one year that I got into twist cards really heavy. <laughs> this is some cute paper from close to my heart from a few years back. And just a pop and twist and left a thing in there. You could put some little sayings or greetings or whatever. This one also was close to my heart paper and the uh, dies at the time, the most wonderful time of the year. I love the color combinations on this, just so pretty. And that opened up. Happy holidays, winter wishes. And just a little bit of paper on the inside and you have, got, have yourself a beautiful card.
Who wouldn't love a twisty card? Who wouldn't? Let's see, what else do I have? More twisty cards here, Winter Wonderland. This is just embossed. Some paper on the inside. We love ourselves some snowflakes. These were just cut out from the print of the paper. And you can put whatever you like on the inside of that. And this is just a, uh, the plain paper. And then uh, we stamped on this, had die cut little deers and such. You know, there's so many different things that you can do. I just got into the twist cards. And then Merry Christmas, and that's a twist as well. Doing it that way with the back. Uh, I really enjoyed that paper as well. So, let's see. Somewhat fun, and this is just layering as well. A couple of strips, make it look like a present. And there you have that. So, that gives you some ideas. Get out all of your uh, little bits and pieces that are Christmassy. I hoard these. I don't know why. I just hate to give them up. But um, this year I'm going to get rid of a lot of things. I have a lot of embellishment pieces that I need to to use up. This one I just put together. It's just some um, pieces to make a wreath. I'll put Merry Christmas on there or something. So that gives you some ideas on what you can do, and you don't have to make it difficult. You can make it easy enough. But there we go. Have a merry merry. Let's get started because we got a lot. We got a lot to do. Christmas is on its way. So you have a great day and go craft. Bye.